Professor Live. What's up, everybody? Professor Live. We're back again with more tutorials. I really appreciate the viewership on all these tutorials. We're going to continue the playlist. In the past, we've done all street ball moves, pretty much. I broke down every signature street ball move I had. I did iconic street ball moves. Today, what we're going to do is something a little different. We're going to focus on a fundamental aspect, specifically in shooting. Okay, and I'm gonna break down what's worked for me as far as shooting techniques, okay? There's a lot of different ways to shoot. These are just aspects and uh, techniques that I found have been very effective for me. And I wanna give a shout out to Mike Pemberthy, a great shooting coach who I learned a lot of my shooting knowledge from. All right, let's get into it. All right, so when we're talking about shooting, we can go a number of different ways with this. There's all different theories. There's so many different layers to shooting. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of insight on how I shoot the basketball, how I go about it, and what's worked for me, okay? What I like to do first off is focus on my stance, okay? I like a wide stance, okay? Footwork and balance is huge when it comes to shooting, okay? If you can shoot the same way every time, you'll have a better chance of being accurate and being consistent, okay? That's a major key. I like to have a wide stance because I like it as low and as power for me, okay? When it comes down to the end of the game, I'm a smaller guy. If I'm winded, players are being physical, you still want to get that power if you have to shoot from deep. You know, it might be a big shot in the, in the, in the fourth quarter you mean, might need to take, but it might be further than you like, or the shot clock might run down. It might be further than you like, okay? So power is big. Wide stance is a major key, okay? Now, when we talk about handwork, okay? The handwork is very, very key. By the time I release, okay? By the time I'm up here and I wanna release, usually what I've got is an L shape with my guide hand, okay? Which is not as important, because all it's doing is guiding the shot. But you don't want to affect the shot with your fingers, okay? It's a guide hand just to stay there and let go as you release. Technically, you should be able to shoot your shot one hand. This is just strictly a guide, okay? Now, when you talk about the shooting hand, a lot of people think that you should point your pointer finger toward the basket, and that would be like the last finger that touches the ball when you release. And that's not bad. I don't disagree with that. I tend to do, I tend to aim for that, but I don't mind if it goes off the middle finger either. Okay, when I'm shooting, and the middle finger is the last one that touches. I don't mind either one of those, but I do make an effort to, to flick my wrist, you know what I mean, at the end, and try to have my pointer finger be the last one. That's what, that's what I personally have found to be effective, okay? So we talk about hand placement initially on the catch. Come close. On the catch here, I catch it like a normal pass, okay? And what I do is, there's two ways I can go about it. Number one, I can just slide my guide hand as I go up. Okay, I could slide my, slide my guide hand as I go up, or you can catch it real quick just like you would a normal pass, and you could align the seams real quick if you like that, and have it come through up here this way, and flick that way, okay? So there's a couple, you can line the seams up or not, it's, that's kind of optional. Both ways can work. A lot of times in the game, I don't have time to line up the seams or figure out where that's at, because there might be like a, a guy who's 6'8 running at me and we just got to get it up there. Boom. To me, it's never bothered me whether the seams are lined up or not. Does it feel a little nicer? Yes. But during in the heat of a game, you can get it done either way. Okay? So don't think you need to do that. Um, so that's for the hand work. Okay? If we're talking body alignment, okay, this is how I like to go about a jump shot. Okay? <clears throat> if somebody throws me the ball, immediately what I'm trying to do is line my feet up with the basket. Okay? Make sure I'm in this attack stance. Line my feet up with the basket. I catch the ball, my hand work, normal place, just like I would catch a ball, okay? And then I bring it to the center of my body, okay? I like to shoot from the center up toward the right side of my face, like over my right shoulder. That's my release point, okay? I, I, tend, to, I tend to like that a lot. The reason I like that is because if I was to chuck this ball as far as I could out on the beach over here, if I was to chuck it as far as I could, how would I do it, okay? If I was to use both hands, I probably would do something like that, right? So what I try to do is I try to bring that right into my shot because it's ultimate power, okay? It's coming from the center of the body, and we're going up and through just like that, okay? And I actually got that strategy from Mike Pemberthy. Shout out to Mike. So when you're talking about the release, it's very, very key that you get a few things in place, okay? Number one, <clears throat> you want to have your release point somewhere up to where your elbow is aiming toward the basket and it's straight, okay? Sometimes it can be a little bit out, but I'm always better if I, if I aim to bring it in, even though it might not be perfectly straight, okay? As long as I'm aiming to have it straight on my release point, 
that's good, okay? A second thing that I try to keep in mind is what I mentioned earlier. You wanna to try to point your pointer finger or your middle finger at the basket, okay? As we come up. Third thing that's key is that I wanna push with my legs as I'm going up, okay? You want this all to be timed well, where it's catch and we're pushing and pointing at the same time, okay? You don't want your, your lower body be, be, to be on a different page than your upper body. And some people's shot is like that, it's twofold. It's like their legs go and then they have a hitch and they shoot or something to that nature, okay? The best shooters of the generation today, if you look at Steph Curry, if you looked at like Ray Allen, these guys, it's all like one motion. It's catch, okay, here, and we're right up in one motion. That lower part, upper body, is all on the same page, okay? It's smooth, okay, so that's what I aim for. The fourth thing that I aim for is I'm always trying to flick my wrist, okay? It's always a key that you have great backspin on the basketball when you shoot. And the reason you want great backspin is because it puts a touch on the ball as you shoot it. So when it, when it does hit the rim, you're not coming in there with any side spin. They could make it go off to the side and you're not having it flat to where it could be like a hard brick. If you have backspin, what it does is it puts a lot of grace on the shot, okay? And oftentimes, when they say you have a shooter's touch, it's usually players that have really good backspin on the ball, have a really good release, okay? The fifth thing to aim for, there's a lot when it comes to this release. The fifth thing to aim for is to have great arch on the basketball. So when you do push and when you go up, you wanna make sure the ball has some nice height on it, okay, going towards the basket. You don't want it to be a flat shot. If the rim is here and the ball's coming in flat, if this is the rim, it has a harder chance of making it because there's not as much opening. If the ball's up here going down into the hoop, okay, you have a much better chance of making it because there's more room for the ball to get in there, okay? So arch on the release, I would say, is the fifth thing to pay attention to. But overall, when you're talking about this shot thing, you focus on your balance, okay, and your stance. You focus on your handwork. You focus on your body alignment, and you focus on the release, okay? Hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight into how I shoot the basketball and something you could hopefully learn and take away and put into your own game. We're all gonna shoot the ball a little bit different, but there's a lot of hard techniques that we can focus on to make ourselves as effective as possible. Thank you guys for checking out my tutorials. It's much appreciated, much more on the way. Be sure to like, comment, let me know what you thought, and uh, subscribe because it's good for your health.